What's up all you corporate tax maniacs? This is Andrew Van Sickle here to talk about Learning Objective 2 from Chapter 14, pages 8 through 15. The goal of this video is to ultimately calculate the gift tax payable. We'll start off discussing the calculation of the value of taxes and how the timing of the benefit affects the present value of the gift. We will define the present interest, future interest, terminable interest, and discuss trusts. Then we'll talk about the annual exclusion to avoid gift taxes on monetarily small gifts. Then we'll discuss marital gift uh, splitting as well as the marital deduction. Uh, to round up the current taxable gift calculation section, uh, we will talk about the organizations that qualify a gift giver for a charitable deduction. And in the back half of the presentation, I will discuss uh, current versus prior taxable gifts, as well as the unused portion of the applicable credit. Uh, the determination of the gift tax is directly applicable to Form 709, the United States Gift and Generation Skipping Tax Return. So today, let's look this gift horse in the face. All gifts are taxed at their fair market value. In order to determine the types of value that a gift can bring its recipient, we divide the interest in gifts into several categories. Present interest does not refer to a present, it means the recipient would currently or immediately benefit from the gift. Uh, future interest just means that the benefits bestowed on the recipient occur in the future. And terminable interest means that the current benefits of the gift will run out either at a set time, like in five years uh, in the future, or upon a certain event, such as death. Uh, this is known as a life estate, and the recipient of this benefit is known as the life tenant. A trust is commonly and fairly well known example of future interest. A trust is set up by a grantor uh, and administered by a trustee. The benefit of the trust is known as the corpus. Remember that gifts are calculated based on the current fair market value. How do you get the current fair market value of a future benefit? The answer is that we discount the future value to determine the net present value. Um, and the discount case, the, the discount rate in this case, uh, represented as R, um, is known as the Section 7250 interest rate uh, published by the Treasury. Uh, I think the rate is currently at 0.6%, uh, but you can find it on the IRS website. Uh, as you can see in this formula, the value of the income interest is the total value minus the value of the remainder. The value of the remainder is the future payment uh, divided by 1, plus the section 7250 interest rate to the nth degree, where n in this case is the number of years. Uh, that's well and good if we have the number of years, but what if the gift is based on the duration of a life? The discount rate in that case is based on some work done by our actuary buddies in the life expectancy chart. You can use that section 7250 interest rate in the x-axis and the age at the time of the transfer uh, of the gift in the y-axis to find your rate. This serves as a reminder that the only two guarantees in life are death and taxes. The annual exclusion is meant to exclude small gifts from the gift tax. Thus, if the only gift all year was this measly coffee mug, then you wouldn't have to pay tax on it. 
in 2019 and in 2020, that limit is $15,000. The limit applies to gifts given to multiple people, and the annual exclusion is only applicable to present interest. Uh, again, talking about the timing when I say present. Uh, the exception to the present interest rule here is for future interest uh, given to minors under the age of 21. In marriage, there is often a better half. When it comes to the gifts given in a year, they can also be split in half. Uh, in community property states in the United States, the automatic assumption is that all acquired property is already evenly owned in a relationship. In common law states, one spouse can own more of the property uh, if they make more of the total household income. Thus, uh, with the gift splitting election, couples in both types of states can be treated equally. Uh, with the marital gift deduction gifts given to a spouse uh, may be deducted when calculating gift tax. Uh, this does not include gifts of terminable interest because it only applies to gifts that will be present at a recipient's spouse's estate. Uh, looking at the charitable deduction, it is limited to the value of the gift after considering the $15,000 annual exclusion. Qualifying charitable organizations might include religious, scientific, educational, charitable, or public organizations. Uh, to calculate the gift tax, we will first add back prior taxable gifts to the current taxable gifts. Then we would subtract uh, tax paid on prior gifts, uh, but we will ignore prior credit in that figure and we will use the current tax rate instead of the prior tax rate. And then finally, we'll be able to apply the unused portion of the credit. And so uh, this is uh, my work cited for uh, this presentation. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed.